Hello everyone. Here are my pickups from the weekend. I got some pretty good stuff this weekend, and uh, I'll save some of the best stuff for last though, so keep watching. Uh, first up, I got Lynx Crossbow Training on the Wii, and this is complete, and by complete I mean has, if I can get it out, the Club Nintendo uh, code unscratched, which is awesome. And this, uh, they wanted £5, but I go for 3 that's that. I also got uh, Resident Evil Outbreak, and uh, this is also complete. The guy wants he was doing uh, three pounds each or two for two, uh, two for five pounds, and I said to him, "Well, will you just do the one for two fifty since that's how much you'd do it for anyway?" And so he said, "Yeah." And I already have that one, but I have the platinum version, and I know that uh, most Resident Evil games are uh, quite expensive to get, so I thought if I'm going to get it, it's probably only going to get it then. Next, a uh, sticker-ridden Burnout 3 takedown. Uh, I think I got this for a pound. Uh, next up, I got FIFA 06 on Game Boy Advance. And I'll just open that up for you. So there we are. And as much as I'm not a big fan of EA because they don't really make the best games, they made a few, like uh, Mirror's Edge and Henry Hatsworth. But um, I do like this case for the... Uh, Game Boy games because it puts the place of the game. That indent for EA is uh, fairly imaginative, and there's a place for the manual where it can't slide side to side because there's little hooks at the bottom. And I got this for I think it was 50p. Next up, I got an Xbox World 360 demo um, from issue uh, issue 77, I think it is, which is uh, May 2009, and. Uh, happy with that because I like the demo discs as I said before but this was 10p and quite often they try and sell them for a pound each I think no that's the price of a game not a demo um, I got two uh, rental only PS1 games I got Rascal and that's just a sticker that's not a rip but there is a rip in the front there and see not for a resale Rascal and uh, I think that's 50p I can't remember I also got uh, Croc, Legend of the Gobbos, which is also not for resale. Then I got uh, Ultimate Fighting Championship on PS1, which is complete, and that was a pound. And then I got uh, Speed Freaks, got that for a pound, and I got Forsaken. And this went for the bargain price of 10 pence. So uh, even just for the case, it's worth that. I was quite happy with that. And uh, next up, I got um, s some... I got a, a, this, this is my best part of my weekend uh, for um, buying games. And I got um, a big bundle of games and some consoles. First up, I got... Um, an Atari Lynx game, I got California Games. I did have five more. There was Electro Cop, um, Miss Pac Man, Tournament Cyberball, um, and a couple of others I can't remember now. But uh, I traded them with Interghost uh, just a minute ago. And I'll show you what I got from him. But uh, if you want to see the Lynx games, then check out his channel, because he'll probably post a video up quite soon. But uh, I got California Games, as well as five other. I got Robocop vs. the Terminator and Mercs as well as uh, Double Dragon on Mars System with uh, Street Fighter 2 not sure that's going to focus, Street Fighter 2 on SNES and um, with that I got an actual SNES it's in pretty nice condition but even better than that was an actual NES it is the uh, the Mattel version. Oh, everything's nice in there. It's got uh, the uh, uh, AV ports on the side. As well as the RF and power. And yet again, it has the uh, block on the bottom. And um, both these consoles are quite strange that I. Uh, quite ironic that I got them because I played my SNES for the first time in a couple of years um, on Wednesday 
and I found out that it was broken and that's down there on the floor and this one's actually in better condition and works I hope, I haven't tried it out yet and uh, I recently recorded a NES collection video which I've been having trouble uploading but um, I the, the day I record it I then go out the next day and uh, get a new NES so I've got extra stuff for my collection and everything I said because um, I've got some games that I can't play because they're PAL A and my console's PAL B and this is a, a PAL A version so I can't play them now so it's just a bit annoying that I record a video and then find out quite a lot of what I said is wrong but so I got all that as well as not one NES controller but two NES controllers an original Nintendo power brick as well as a SNES controller and another original Nintendo power brick and even better a Sony set of HD cables so I'm assuming that will go into my PS2 and I'll be able to have uh, HD cables for it I don't think it does HD but you should make the picture nice and crisp. And I got all that for £25. And I thought that was pretty good. He also had some um, NES games like Mario 1, 2, and 3, and uh, um, Super Off Road and stuff like that, as well as Top Gun. But he said he wanted, uh, he said like they all go for £10 each, so he said he'd take £50 with them. And I thought, no, they're not worth £15, they're worth 5 And um, <coughs> next all I went to, I actually managed to get. Mortal Kombat 2 on the SNES as well for £2 and uh, I thought that was a pretty good deal so I'll move that all to one side and the last thing I bought this weekend I think is a, uh, a pretty good deal it is a CD holder which is full literally full of PS1 games there's Area 51 Command and Conquer Disc 1 and Disc 2 Crash Bash which I have a spare case for, I think, so that's good. Uh, Crash Bandicoot. B for 2000. Then I so many discs, I can't fit them all in, so... There's also uh, WWF Warzone. And... If I can flip it. Tony Hawk's uh, Skateboarding. V Rally. GTA. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX. Micro Machines V3, Music 2000, NHL 2000, and LA Premier League Stars. I got all that for £2, and I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, they're not in that great condition, but um, they should all work. If not, I should be able to fix them with a disc repairer. And I was quite happy for that for £2, because there's so many games. Especially since Crash Bash, I've been wanting for a while, and I have a spare case for